Hello, thank you for joining me again. We've been here all day. Hey, uh, let's go ahead and make some more modifications to our curtain wall. Now that we have it centered, we have it pulled down to uh, horizontal to what we like. Perhaps these window panels are a little bit too big. So let's go ahead and click on the curtain wall itself and maybe adjust some of the mullions of where they're at. And maybe take out some of those mullions too, as an example. So we're, we're limited in the amount of uh, properties we can actually change in our properties palette. Oops, that's not what we want. Click on the curtain wall. These are some of the uh, you know palette uh, things that we could change here. We have a base offset of one foot. We have an unconnected height of 12 feet, so it kind of almost goes up to the top of the of the roof. And everything else is uh, can be modified, but uh, the real modifications come when we go to edit to type. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and duplicate that curtain wall. Just in case we want to put in a second wall, and we can call that storefront two or storefront front for the front of the building, and go to OK. Now let's change some of our settings. Some of the settings that you see here are like with the vertical millions and the horizontal millions. You could change this type. For instance, with the millions that are in, in the internal portion of the curtain wall, or these, we could change the size here if we like. We have a couple different choices. Maybe we could do some of the thinner ones, one and a half inch uh, by two and a half inch rectangular on the inside. And we could probably go to apply and watch those lines get thinner. And those are the vertical ones. And then the ones in the outside, border one and border two, it doesn't really say left or right, but uh, one is left, one is right. And maybe the horizontal millions too, let's go ahead and change that. Let's change that to the little ones, maybe uh, one and a half inches by two and a half inches. Now they may not become apparent, it does, now it does right there, they did get a lot thinner. So the, the dimensions you're looking at, uh, one inch by uh, two and a half inches, means it's one inch uh, wide by two and a half inches deep. It actually goes into the window and comes out the other side. So the, the bigger dimension is the dimension that goes inside the window. So just, just to double check that. Let's go back in and edit that type again. Oh. Mm. Click on our curtain wall. Go back to edit type. We don't need to change the name. It's already the uh, curtain wall front. So it's actually one and a half inches by two and a half inches. So just to repeat that, the interior uh, dimensions on uh, on the millions are going to be one and a half inches wide by two and a half inches deep. Deep means it's going through the window and coming out the other side. So usually the larger dimension goes through the window. So we're not going to change the border one and border two. We're going to keep the outside borders the same. But one thing we are going to do is change our vertical and our horizontal spacing. So right now our vertical spacing, our vert vertical grid pattern, remember the millions right on the grids and you can control the grids. So we're going to move the grids around instead of five feet wide. Let's make that, uh, let's make that three feet right, wide. In regard to our horizontal grid pattern, which is really big, eight feet, let's go ahead and make that, um, let's make that four feet. So we're going to have three by four foot rectangles defining our, um, our curtain wall. Let's see what that looks like. So go to OK. Yeah, that's OK, I guess. If you like that, I don't mind, but for sake of demonstration, it seems to be pretty good. And let's go ahead and change the inside here. What we want to do is take that curtain wall off the roof. So let's go ahead and uh, click on the curtain wall. And just like other things, like with roof, with walls, with ceilings, we can edit the profile of this. And we're going to do the same thing with the curtain wall. So remember, it gives us that magenta line that we're used to by now. Let's go ahead and do this. There is an offset function with our... Uh, in our modify uh, toolbar, it's a, one of our tools that we could use. Yeah, but what we need to do is draw some reference geometry for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from that point to that point on our roof overhang on that uh, uh, fascia board that's sticking out, and then I'm going to offset that. So escape a couple times, go to offset that, and you'll see the intent of what I'm trying to do here. Let's make sure. Let's offset that by. Let's say eight inches. Click on this line, and then click on the side of the line you want it to be on. Oop, just once. Delete what we don't need. Do the trim tool. Trim that line to that line, and that's okay. We're going to enjoin it. That line to that line, enjoin that. And now we have a continuous line that goes from that side to the diagonal line, parallel to the line that's part of the roof, and then up to the top. One thing I need to do is delete this other magenta line so it doesn't conflict. I have enclosed geometry. Let's go ahead and do the green check mark and see what that looks like. Not too bad. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Go back to our profile. Edit the profile. And this time, let's go ahead and mirror that. We're going to take this line and we're going to mirror it. 
We're not going to pick an axis, but we're going to draw a mirror axis. And just like we did in AutoCAD, I'm going to pick this point on top of the roof and just go up vertically. And now we have that line on the other side. Let's go to our trim tool. Trim this line to that line. That line to that line. Trimmed out. Check mark. And that's pretty cool. That, to me, looks fairly attractive. So let's go to our 3D camera view, too. We should probably rename that and see what that looks like on the inside of the house. Boy, that looks good. Kind of. It might be kind of nice to change some of the millions around and give it a little bit of different shape. And I'll show you how to do that in the next film.